Welcome back, folks, and happy getaway day. It's Friday, July 28th, 2023. Born on this date in 1984, D'Amico Ryans of Bessemer, head coach of the NFL's Houston Texans. A lawmaker has had a medical emergency while traveling in the Far East. Mo Brooks talked about President Trump's efforts to roll back the 2020 elections, and a high-profile football coach is joining one of our high schools. I'm Mike Morgan, and we're down in Alabama. Some Alabama lawmakers are asking for prayers after State Senator Tim Melson had a heart attack Thursday while on a trip with his colleagues to South Korea, reports AL.com's Howard Koppelwitz. State Senator Keith Kelly confirmed the event through social media. The group was there reportedly to recruit businesses and science, tech, and math teachers. WAFF reported that another lawmaker on the trip, State Senator Arthur Orr, performed CPR on Melson before he was hospitalized. Melson is a Florence Republican. He's a retired anesthesiologist and was a sponsor of the medical cannabis legislation that made it into law two years ago. Look for updates on this story in coming days on AL.com and AL.com slash politics. The special counsel in charge of prosecuting former President Donald Trump has not contacted former Alabama Congressman Mo Brooks. AL.com's Howard Koppel, which reports that Brooks is a little surprised by that because he believes Trump asked him to help overturn the 2020 presidential election in ways that might have violated the law. Remember, Brooks was inside Trump's circle of favor when he said at a rally in Cullman that Republicans should start looking ahead to future elections rather than continuing to focus on 2020. Sometime after that, Trump withdrew his endorsement of Brooks for Senate and endorsed frontrunner Katie Britt instead. Brooks recently told NBC News that he was shocked by how blatant Trump was while discussing how to get the 2020 election reversed. Brooks said, quote, Donald Trump wanted me to do four things, advocate rescinding the election, advocate physically removing Joe Biden from the White House, advocate reinstating Donald Trump as President of the United States, and advocate a new special election for President of the United States, all of which violate the U.S. Constitution and federal law, and after I got done explaining that to him, he withdrew his endorsement and endorsed my opponent. An Alabama high school has hired a high-profile assistant football coach, reports AL.com's Craig Stevenson. Former University of Tennessee head coach and University of Alabama defensive coordinator Jeremy Pruitt is returning home to his alma mater, Plainview High School in Rainsville, as a PE teacher and assistant coach. He'll also coach junior high basketball. Now, Pruitt's dad, Dale Pruitt, is currently in his third stint as head football coach at Rainsville. Pruitt's tenure at Tennessee ended in January 2021 when he was fired during an investigation into alleged recruiting violations. The NCAA gave him a six-year show-cause penalty and a one-year suspension, which is likely to keep him away from the college game during that time. Thank you all so much for listening. Have a great weekend. We will be back to do this again bright and early Monday morning. Until then, remember we're open seven days a week, 24 hours a day on the World Wide Web at AL.com.